Hey everyone, this is John Carrasco once again with Laguna Tools. Today we'll be going over a basic setup of the LCB 150 watt CO2 laser and what you should expect upon delivery. Let's get started. Alright, so with the uh, delivery of your machine, you'll receive your CO2 laser tube, that's 150 watt. You'll receive the chiller, which is a CW5200, the air pump, your exhaust fan, two hoses, and your toolbox. Alright guys, so first thing you want to do is mount the laser tube onto your machine. This will be done by removing the back cover. This is held in place by Allen screws. Uh, you'll be able to find the tools to remove those Allen screws in your toolbox. Okay, so now that we have the Allen screws off, we're gonna wanna remove the cover and slowly place it down. Now that we have the cover off, we're gonna wanna remove the clamps, top clamps. Same thing, Allen screws holding the uh, clamp in place. This is where the laser tube is gonna sit and get wired into the machine. And now we're gonna grab your uh, grab the laser tube and very carefully remove it from its case. And go towards the back uh, to get it mounted. Okay, so now that we have the tube mounted on the gantry, we want to remove the side covers to gain access to the tube and hoses of this machine. Okay, so now we're going to want to connect the uh, wiring to the uh, tube. You're going to have your uh, hoses and a black wire and a red wire. Uh, the hoses are for the water going in and coming out into the uh, laser chiller uh, and then back into the laser tube. Uh, so let's get that going. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to use is a screwdriver. There are gonna be two screws, one on the front, one on the back, and you're gonna collect two lines, one in the front, one in the back. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so now that we have the tube mounted, uh, everything connected to the laser tube, we are gonna wanna reverse the process, put everything back together, and uh, yeah, let's get going. Okay, so the next thing, once you get your tube mounted onto your gantry, 
is gonna be connecting your chiller to the machine. Uh, that way it gets the water in and out from the tube. Uh, make sure to have distilled water in order to uh, get the chiller uh, filled up. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we wanna do is connect your sensor to your machine. We connect the water lines to the chiller into the machine. Now we're going to want to get the water into the water chiller. Okay, now we're gonna wanna unscrew the cap from the water chiller and pour your distilled water into the water chiller. So two gallons should be more than enough for this uh, chiller that we have here. Now we're gonna cap it off. Make sure to clean off the excess water. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is connect the air pump. That's gonna give the air assist for your nozzle uh, to the back of the machine. You're gonna wanna grab your hose and your air pump. Okay, so now that we have everything connected, we have your machine, chiller, exhaust, and the air pump connected, uh, it is time to get started. Let's get the key from the toolbox. Let's get the machine going. Okay, so now that we have the machine on, let's go ahead and turn the chiller on. That way it gets the water circulating through the tube and back into the chiller. Okay, so this is what the machine comes with. This is what we'll be upgrading to, which is the inline exhaust fan. A lot quieter, uh, also has an app system which you can regulate the CFM, turn the machine on and off. These will be available to our website. Before we bring power to the machine, turn it on, we're gonna wanna put this red cap at the end of the CO2 laser tube to prevent arcing. Okay, so the final step would be to do the mirror alignment. Uh, you're gonna require masking tape. Um, this machine, you have three mirrors. You have your front mirror, mirror number one, back mirror, mirror number two, and mirror coming into the uh, laser head, which is mirror number three. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut a piece of tape, masking tape, and put it over the first mirror. Then we're gonna wanna go pulse to make sure that the, the uh, beam is hitting center point. Okay, so now that we have mirror number one aligned, we're gonna move on to mirror number two. If there are any adjustments that need to be done, mirror number one is top to bottom, mirror number two is left to right, and then mirror number three has three knobs, which is left to right and diagonal. Okay, so now that we have mirror number one aligned, we're gonna move on to mirror number two. Repeat the process, cut a piece of masking tape, put it over the mirror, and then go pulse. Okay, so now that we have mirror number two aligned, uh, let's move on to mirror number three, but if there is adjustments that need to be done to center the uh, beam, there are knobs on this mirror that you can adjust for to get it centered. Okay, so now that we align mirror number one, mirror number two, we're gonna move on to aligning mirror number three. Repeat the process, piece of tape. Okay, so we did the test with the nozzle closest to mirror number two. Now we're gonna jog the machine to the right side to do the uh, second step of the mirror alignment.
Okay, so now that we have the mirrors aligned, chiller hooked up, air pump hooked up, exhaust fan hooked up, we can start cutting. So next thing we do is bring the USB thumb drive, plug it into the control, download the file, and run your cut. Okay, so now that we have the file loaded on, we're gonna wanna frame, make sure that it's within the parameters, and then we can save the start. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps with the setup of your LCB CO2 laser. If you have any questions, please reach out to us, lagunatools.com. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.